should be sacrificed. Like, sacrifice for what? Sacrifice what? Someone's soul? That's unfortunate. And any woman who does shit like that, you better be, you better be careful because you will be barren. You will be barren. <laughs> Zoka. Zoka. Solar doesn't know. Nature Boy doesn't know. They will drop you at the drop of a dime. They will drop you. They will drop you, Zoka. They will leave you stranded. And they will call you a demon. If you don't give them what they want. <laughs> Nature Boy was telling Natiri that she's ahead of all of the other women. Or all of the other people who are going to have to do what she's doing by making the decision to go back to carbonation. You ain't doing nothing but going backwards. Ain't nothing good coming out of that situation. Nothing. Everything that you're doing in carbonation, you could do on your own and better. Because carbonation ain't the peak of what's real. It ain't the peak of what's right either. It's actually far from it. So, you going back to carbonation is setting yourself back. You going to get everything taken from you, including your soul, including your soul. And then you're going to be sitting there looking extra, extra stupid when you figure out that that's not where you want to be. And then you have to leave again and then start all over. Not only that, you're going to look even more stupider because you're going to try to be with Solar. And then now everybody's going to be looking at you as the corporate to being the, the, the person or the woman who's tearing shit apart just like Nature Boy. You're going to seem just as demonic as Nature Boy if you go back to Carbonation and be with Solar. Straight like that. And the Terry, I will never fuck with you again. Ever. I put that on my life. If you go back to Carbonation and go be with Zoka, I mean Solar, that'll be some fucked up Fucked up, fuck, way fucked up shit. Like, it's even fucked up to think about the fact that a baby dying and Nature Boy says online that, oh, now it's an opportunity for you to come in because that baby didn't make it. What type of shit is that? What type of demonic shit is that? Is that anything righteous? Nature Boy likes to spin children as attachments. Nature Boy likes to spin children as... Uh, something that's not going to let you enter the kingdom. If anything cuts you off from the kingdom, then you need to let it go. Like, what kingdom are you wanting me to enter? That Your kingdom, Nature Boy's kingdom, is not the kingdom of heaven. It's not the kingdom of God. If it was, he wouldn't be displaying none of the characteristics that he's displaying when it comes to physically ab abusing anyone. To the degree that he's doing. Mentally abusing anyone. To the degree that he's doing. Spiritually abusing people. To the degree that he's doing. That would never be the case. It's the kingdom of hell. Facts. Literally. These people are dying. Alive. Dying alive. Because of this nigga. Dying alive. Babies dying alive because of this nigga, because of the shit that he does. And it's so fucked up because you're using spirituality to confuse these people's minds. Let me tell you something about a person. I learned this. This is my own spirit. This is my personal spiritual experience. Because I didn't have enough knowledge about who God was, who Jesus was, the stories in the Bible, even reading the Bible, even just having certain uh, details about historic facts. 
that we're studying, that I'm studying, studying right now. Because I didn't have this information, Nature Boy was, I was easily manipulated by Nature Boy because I didn't have certain information. You know, he was the first thing that I knew. And he was the only thing I knew for three years. All of these other people who are in combination, they're trying to find knowledge. They're trying to find knowledge. And so because Nature Boy makes them feel like he's smarter than anybody they've ever come across because they can't comprehend what a motherfucker is saying and what people are teaching. They can't keep up because of their own traumas that keeps them blinded and binded to negativity. They believe Nature Boy and they believe in all of his shenanigans. Because Nature Boy instills fear tactics as well with the knowledge that makes those people feel incompetent. It'll make them feel like something really bad will happen to them because you know what they say? You know what Nature Boy says to those people? Oh, you'll go to hell. You'll go to hell if you if you don't come live with me. You'll go to hell if you don't suck my dick. You'll go to hell if you don't let me take your woman. You'll go to hell if you don't let me sabotage your relationship that y'all that everybody have in carbonation. You'll go to hell if you don't uh, protect me and protect my demonic characteristics. You'll go to hell. This is what he says to those people and these people. As gullible and 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 uneducated as they are, they sit there and they believe him. And at one point in time, and the reason why I know it so well is because at one point in time, because I didn't have so much knowledge, I I, I was I was like, yeah, I will go to hell. Like this makes sense. It makes sense. But as I'm as I'm starting to do the deeds that he want me to do. I'm realizing that it's not congruent with my natural spirit. It's not congruent with how I naturally operate, how I naturally feel. So I'm in constant conflict. You know what he would like to tell me? It's your Saturn square midheaven. I have an aspect in my chart where it says that I can tug a war between... Uh, fulfilling my purpose and not I feel like when I went to go be with nature boy I felt like I went to go live that purpose that I wasn't that I felt like I wasn't living when I was back at home in college when I went there I noticed that I wasn't fulfilling my purpose there either me being a character in nature boy's mind and being a, a robot in his actual reality is not my purpose. It's not my purpose to give you threesomes every day. It's not my purpose to sit there amongst a whole bunch of women that you turning against each other and, and, and want us to fuck each other and want us to fuck you and all of this shit. That's not my purpose. My purpose is not to run a brothel. My purpose is not to, to downgrade another woman and make her feel like she ain't shit just to build her and mold her into the person who you want me to mold her into. That's not my purpose. My purpose is actually to bring light to the fuck shit that you doing. That's my purpose. My purpose is to speak up for everybody out there who's going through the same demonic shit that you put all of everybody in combination through and give them a sense of inspiration. Because motherfuckers is really out here hurting because of niggas like you, nature boy. There's women who literally have children by niggas like you and are considered single mothers. But you know what you do, nature boy? You get online and you bash the black woman and says, oh, you're a single mother because you don't know how to keep a man. You don't know how to do this. You don't know how to do that. Well, have you ever sat down? You like to bash a woman so much, but have you ever sat down and talked about the fucking characteristics of a man and what men do? What you're doing? Uh -huh.